Irish people are known as the Seal People, and from the Seal People comes a legend. Is it truth? I saw it myself on the Oregon coast, and in this video, I will tell you the top 10 places on the Oregon coast to see seals and sea lions, and also show you the video that I got of this Irish legend that seals and sea lions when there is a death in their pod. So come along with me to the seal and sea lion funeral procession that I saw on the Oregon coast. But I'll start with my top 10. This is Harbor County Park Trail outside of Florence, Oregon. Leads down to a place that seals just love to bask in the sun. Several places near Newport, Oregon. One is Boiler Bay, where you can also see whales often. One is the Newport Aquarium, where you can see seals close up. And one is the buoy near the bridge, where there is often seals or sea lions barking and hanging out on the buoy. Simpson Reef also has several places, a turnout past shore acres where you can view the Oregon Islands that is nearly covered in sea lions most of the year. And also at the end turnaround parking area by Simpson Reef, the trail to the Oregon Islands. You can usually see not only seals and sea lions in the bay swimming there in the, in the ocean, but also on the rocks. On the southern coast area, you can see harbor seals at the Smith River Inlet near Brookings, Oregon, and a little further north at Port Orford. The Coast Guard Trail along the cliffs, you can see seals, and also at the docks several times of the year. Seals are regulars at most marinas on the Oregon coast, but one marina, at Salmon Harbor, has seals nearly year-round in and around the boat docks. And at Yahats State Park, which is where this Irish legend revealed itself to be true. There's a fin on the right. Do you see that? I have it slowed down a little. So I started looking in the water because I'd seen a surfer there the day before. But instead, I saw a mass of sea lions and seals, which I had seen before. So I kept looking. What it turned out to be, and what I learned from someone who's Irish and knows this, was a funeral procession. There are some fins that stay sort of pointed up in the air that look like a sea lion, but they don't move at all. And the other sea lions are swimming with them, over them, under them, and around them. The sea was pretty rough that day, so it was a little bit difficult to, to keep the camera on it, but I'll slow it down and you can see what I'm talking about. I also thought I saw a shark fin, and strangely enough, which does sound like legend, a whale, the ridge, the back ridge of a whale, and a whale tail fin. Because it was so different from the sea lions and the straight up in the air fin that I'm pretty sure that's what I saw. I caught it on camera, but it was so far away. I did my best with my 300 millimeter that I had that day. This is where I was parked and drawing, making a studio vlog, and this was the weather that day.
I don't know that much more about it. So if you know about sea lion processions or if you've seen a seal or sea lion funeral procession, leave a comment in comments below. I've also heard that sharks will follow the procession because once the procession is over, they will eat the dead sea lion. I'd love to hear if you've seen this or know about it. I have also heard that sea lions will attend a whale birth and I kind of got the feeling that that's what was going on. That might not have been what was going on, but it was still fascinating to watch. The turnout of Highway 101 across from the Hasita Head Lighthouse often has sea lions when you look straight down to the left and definitely if you want to see nearly that same pod of sea lions, the sea lion caves is just a, less than an entire mile away from that area and just even walking around on the grounds you can see sea lions swimming all together which is where I had seen such a thing and then it ended up to be something so much different, which was the funeral procession. These sea lions from the sea lion caves area were just swimming all together, and they were also near the Hasita Head Lighthouse, which is just beautiful on a sunny day and also a great place to watch for whales. In most of these places, you see seals in the wild, and it's not that great of an idea to get right close up to them. In fact, at Harbor County Park, if you're walking along and one of the rocks turns out to be a seal, you want to stay back as far as you can. Um, you know, sometimes they're just right there and you stumble up upon them, but if you stay away from them, then they're more likely to stay wild and stay in their wild spaces. So. Of course, if you want to see them close up, there's the Newport or the Oregon Coast Aquarium and several other aquariums where uh, kids can see seals close up and enjoy wildlife and learn to enjoy wildlife. It's one of the places that um, people, you know, make a lifelong connection and then will we'll want to protect them later on in life. So, you know, sometimes it's a sad situation it looks like because they're in a cage but also they might have been rescued and they also might have had some sort of injury where they couldn't go back to the wild. I'll put links below to several of these Oregon attractions that I have put in a blog and also this is a good time to remind you to hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and also the little bell for notifications to upcoming videos. Stay wild, Moonchild, and thank you for watching.